free spirited original hippie who was into rock and roll. And he even drove a black Cadillac purse. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> it was a party vehicle wherever where whoever wanted to could get in and go on an adventure of laughter, rock and roll, and all the things that elevate our natural condition. <laughs> get my drift. Yeah. He was fun, and the party was on. He could turn your frown into a smile and make you feel like you were on in Monty Python's flying <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I worked with Mitch when uh, he later went on to help renovate one of the original Warner Brothers movie theaters in Youngstown, Ohio, which seated 3,000. And uh, that was called the Tomorrow Club. Some of the many acts that performed there were Genesis, The Who, Grateful Dead, Kiss, B.B. King, Ted Nugent, and the Amboy Dukes. We know how long Ted Nugent and the Amboy Dukes were. <laughs> yep. Um, and also Black Oak, Arkansas as well. And many local bands, too numerous to mention. And I got to see all those concerts. <laughs> now he also worked to put together a huge outdoor concert in Youngstown, Ohio. The main act was Alice Cooper. This was to benefit St. Jude's Children's, Mes or Children's Medical Hospital that Danny Thomas started. Hitch loved the outdoors as well, often riding horses with Connie and other kids and letting the horses swim in the lake while we would hold on to their tails and they would take us in tow. <laughs> he was a great swimmer and later upon moving to Ocean Beach became an avid surfer. Or surfer. Have a Imagine the size of Mitch's circle. Oh, yeah. Did they find one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We used to kid yeah. Mitch about it when he get a new pair of shoes that they were coming in on the train. Yeah. You know, one shoe on a box and car and another shoe on a box car. Yeah. He was such a big man. Yes, he was. He loved animals and for all those who have been here since 1975. We would remember his dog Tripod, the three-legged yep, dog. Tripod, yep. Mitch was in the very first obese parade down Newport Avenue. That's not cool. As a self-appointed grand marshal, pictured in there. Mitch, self-appointed grand marshal for the first parade. <laughs> his true passion was sports, baseball, football. Basketball, but most of all football. Uh, and he would talk for hours about this movie. I gave Mitch and Connie their first drive on their journey from Youngstown. We ended up in Des Moines, Iowa. <laughs> oh man! It was winter. It was like January 1st, and they decided to continue on their adventure. They were hitchhiking when it was okay to hitchhike. Now today mm -hmm. it's a whole different thing. <laughs> Um, they ended up in, uh, they went on to Omaha, Nebraska, then on to Denver, Colorado, and of course ending in Ocean Beach, California, where they made their home. They ran the Newport Hotel about two years, and then later started to work, or later started to work for Newport Farms for almost 20 years. More than 20. Yeah, more than 20, okay. And that is where many of you first met me either in the store or out the front. Also an avid bike rider for many years, he's known for the familiar ringing of the bell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. um, also an avid bike rider for many years, he's known for the familiar ringing of his bell on his becoming bike. Welcome, welcoming the day for everyone and giving you the gift of a smile. He would even update you on the sports course and the players if you had a little extra time. <laughs> Mitch, as long as I've known him, has repaired bikes and reconditioned bikes out of his garage for those who could not afford much for repairs or a bike to call their own. He has often given many kids 
any bikes, parts, and laid away free for many children and others to do it. Kids have even laid their easy stools and so the bunch of extra bikes themselves. He's a golden man and a gentle giant with a huge heart for children. And he's always mentored them as a friend, as if they were his own. Yep. Connie and Mitch have raised many kids from the neighborhood of Ocean Beach. <laughs> they were dejected from their parents. They were runaways, often giving them a meal and a warm place to stay when they got on the field. Later in life, he and they have seen Mitch in his open garage, greeting those who just wanted him they wanted to hang out and talk. He has been a visible member of the community of Ocean Beach, and to have had your path in life cross with Nietzsche, you have truly been blessed to have known him. Yep. Nietzsche is the most positive man I've ever known. He would, he would take your day, and he would look at you, and he would find some humor uh, about humor about what was going on in the season. <laughs> and he would touch your heart, with a big smile, and he had a vivacious personality. So he could just rock your world, open your heart, and set your mind free. And that's what I know about best about Nick. He had discovered the key to opening your heart, which is you. Nick, you'll be truly missed, and we wish you God's good. Yeah. Oh, that's that's Most about no. Mitch. <laughs> he loved animals. He loved the water out for animals. So what I'd like to do at this point is I'd like to invite individuals to come up and, and actually say where they first met Mitch and what they liked about him. And even three to five minutes, we want to try to do the kind of thing so that we can then walk down onto the pier and toss this, the, some flowers into the water and give our farewell and watch the sun go down. Okay, so I'm going to open it up in three to five minutes. Who wants to come up and say anything about how they met me? I just want to say this that he was the most non judgmental person I think I ever knew in my life. Yes. And he always had a kind word for just about anybody, no matter what level they came from. And I don't know what I'm going to do without him. But I'm going to keep going. I'll always love him. I told him that the hospital. I'll see you on the other side. Don't forget to look for me. I'll love you forever. Bye. He's up there with my mom having a big old glass of wine. Bye, Mitch. <laughs> you just say one more little, little thing. Yeah, they are. Mitch was a common king for the common man in right. His kingdom was a king. Yeah, when you saw him, he was a kind-hearted king just automatically made you feel good and you were part of it. I'd like to say something. My name is Bonnie D. Cruzo, and you won't believe it, but I'm Nietzsche's sister. I'm the smallest one in the family. My first brother was Nietzsche, and he was six foot nine. The other one's six foot seven. The other one's six foot, and I'm five five. They told me not to eat too much. My mom believed in feeding the kids breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Well, Ron was always free spirit since he was young. He was never home, okay? No man, and when he came home for supper, he tried to get all, out of all the, you know, what you do, work in the house, you know, you'd like do the dishes and that. He never was there. But he was out with his buddy, riding around, and what I remember most about him is he was a great swimmer, and at our pool, everybody used to watch how he used to jack do you know, all kind of different dives and somersaults and everything, and I thought he'd be a great swimmer. But going with that, when my mom passed away when we were young, she was 43 and we were 21, Ron was 21, uh, Dawn was 20, I was 19, and my other brother was 18. Ron decided to be a hippie and to be a free spirit and leave. And he left, uh, Oh, I think around the 30s, and when he left, he told me to remember one thing, peace be with you. <laughs>
<laughs> and one on. thing I want to tell you, when I was working at Packer Electric, it was the electrical part, is that it was one blithery night, 20 miles away from my home. I called home and he answered. I was stuck there because my battery in my car was dead. He says, don't worry, sis, I'll be out to get you. He came out, he started my car, and I, I followed him back home and we made it home safely. So I'll never forget that time and I love him. And he's just like me, full of personality, <laughs> full of positive, and go on in this life no matter what. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Right, Bonnie. All right, no, I'm, next. I'm John. You guys are great. Be easy. You guys are great. Baby. Anyways, uh, I got I got known this to uh, his wife, Connie. Uh, I was used to work over Miguel's for cycling stuff in the Ray. And that's where I met her, and then she said, hey, come over and check it out. And I'm like, all right. So I go over there. And Connie, since then, I know I mean, uh, Denise. It's like a year and a half. My biggest friend. My old yeah. co worker from 7 Eleven. That's it. Thank you, John. Okay, I'm Matt. Thanks, John. I'm uh, OBT Steve's sister, um, Diane Wells' daughter. I've known Nick since I was five years old. I met him at the at the Ocean Beach Hotel when we moved here. My mom, Diane Wells, God bless her soul. She's up there party with Nitch. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Party up there. Um, I wish my brother could be here, but unfortunately he isn't. Um, but we got the rest of the family here, and Nitch, um, he's never been judgmental. Even when I was like seven, eight years old, and I had problems with my mom, drunk or whatever, you know, whatever it may be, whatever the situation may be, I always, I used to run to mom and dad, and that was funny and did. <laughs> they were mom and dad to me. That's right. And they raised me, and, yeah. and I had always had a home with them. And Nick, he goes, Squirt. He always called me Squirt. And he goes, Squirt, you know what? It'll get better, you know what? And, and those legs of yours, they, they just gotta stop growing. <laughs> <laughs> but I love Nick because he was never judgmental. He was always my dad, he always stood there for me. And mom and dad was always there for me growing up. And I'm gonna miss him tremendously, but I know he's up there partying. He said, Don't weep for me. I know. I better have a shot of heel on me. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I walked in the new form cloud and went to school. And that man said hello to me. And he asked me my name. He said, where am I from, son? And he uh, said, Denise I live around the corner there. if it's you have any up. issues. Sucks, son. He said, I'll give you an instruction book for this town. <laughs> you know? And he taught me a lesson. And I got the gravestone to prove it. Because I know where his yard is. And I've been home ever since. <laughs> and those are the fondest memories of this living thing. And those are what I remember about Hitch when I first walked into Ocean Beach. Thank and you. how the community of kindness was. Yeah. You know. And I love Connie. She's always treating me with a welcome house and an open door. And I miss him. And I always miss the yard and the patio. And when I had my drunken stupidity moment, I got kicked out of the yard and off the porch. Okay? And that ain't no lie. Don't play games in OB. Because you get beat up. All right? Thank you very much. God bless you, Nitch. And I'll see you when the road drops. Oh, 
I just ran to me, but this is a good spot to shoot. <laughs> you know, and uh, I'm glad it's going to I'm going to live right down the street. All the OB teams, he helped them put their bikes together, he worked with them, he took them all in, he was like, yeah, he was there for all of them. And that's all I ever heard from my ex-husband John, is how wonderful he was, and how he took it on everything. And I'm so sorry John, he's not here right now. I'm sure he's not here Mitch was a wonderful man. And my husband, you know, he had him, and he said, what a wonderful man. And he just, and all this was talking. And here he got sick and left us all. I turned on the radio for an answer, and the first song I got was, well, you know my name, so I already had it. Yeah. And uh, I, I just knew right here that he would do every single day all the way. We've got nowhere else to go but hang out and watch us and ask us. So how are you doing? Thank you. Thank you. Come on. It's a long time. This is the one Ron was talking about. Yeah. Came all the way in from uh, Riverside. I've got no issue now. I've got my hair every other day. <laughs> and then I'm just going to tell you this. remember bike racing at Morley Field, you know, on Friday nights. Those were the things we did as and kids. It, we were born in the 60s, our generation. We would race at Morley Field, and, mm -hmm. you know, um, he was always there. Yeah. I mean, fruit fly, three feet. With his big green bounce, jumpsuit. Little Gary. <laughs> um, and, and those are the original kids that um, took on the, the OBT thing. These these two women and myself were like the last of the teasers right here, you know, and, uh, and, and I just want to say thank you, you know, for staying and being here and a part of so many people's lives, even when you may have forgot who they are, they're still uh, in spirit, we don't die, no. you know, in spirit, we don't die, so thank you. Thank you, Brandy. Thank you, Brandy. <laughs> I'm Connie, and uh, I met Mitch when I was about 15 or 16, a long time ago, uh, over at Old Man Dave's recording studio. Or actually, just not recording, but it was a studio that all the little bands used to jam there. 
And uh, it wasn't until I started dating Steve Delander that I met Connie. And man, Connie and Mitch were there for me and Steve. Just, oh, they helped us so much. They were a big part of my life. Uh, when my dad was going through cancer, I used Connie and Mitch's phone for emergency contact number. Uh, we lived in a van right out front of their house. <laughs> and uh, it was, you know, it was uh, really good for them to take me in like that. Uh, I didn't see Mitch for a long period of time. I was down in Costa Rica for a, for a while. But when I got back in 08, right, right at Newport Farms, I'm like, I knew you'd still be here. <laughs> so that's how I, I got a little update on what was going on down here. And after the 12 years I was gone, uh, I just wanted to say thank you, Connie. Thank you, Mitch, for being a part of my life. Thank you, Connie, for being a part of my life. I guess I'll say something. Most of you probably don't know me because I'm a bit of a recluse. But uh, I hitchhiked into town in 75, and the first people I met was Nitch and Connie. And they ran the, what was it, the Newport Hotel at the time. And if you wanted, uh, it was kind of like the Alice's Restaurant of OB back in those days. And, uh, we were just a bunch of little hippie, idealistic hippies. We loved everybody, and Niche was the perfect example of trying to accept and uh, not judge people. I mean, it's hard to not judge each other. I think it's just part of our nature. He had it down better than anybody I've ever met. So I aspire to be like him and to all the people that I do know, and I just have forgotten that I knew you. It's good to see you again. Good to see places. you too. Uh, any friend of Connie and Mitchell's is a friend of mine. So. What's your name? I'm Donna. Donna, okay. Donna. <laughs> I just wanted to say one thing. I just realized why the song was "Will You Know My Name" because everybody thought his name was Ned. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> totally. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They never corrected that. It always was. I call him Mitch. Always was. Hi everybody. Hi. I appreciate you guys you coming down here and taking the time out of your day to be here for Connie and Ronald Mitch. Dear friends of ours. over the OB pod. I don't care. I can't hear you. They came to me for a purpose. I met Mitch last year when I was out here playing. I had to move away because I, I couldn't get any work. But Mitch never said no. He always had a spot to hang out, relax, chill, or shoot the shit with. Um, I came back this year and I'm staying. I brought my girlfriend with me. Mitch never said no to us, even when we came back. <laughs> And I appreciate Mitch because Casey and me have a saying Mitch in. She's the only person that made me feel like I belonged. I traveled from up north to come down here to be with him. And I really enjoy it and appreciate Thanksgiving because spent Thanksgiving together this year. Last the big family issue and it was so heartwarming that he didn't allow us to have Thanksgiving dinner 
and it was memorable and he always had a good laugh. He had that okay. nice and patient smile that just reminded me of such an uplifting, very chill, very subtle spirit, spirit but nonetheless the, one of the biggest hearts I've known. And I've appreciated all the pep talks that he had, all the stories he ever told me. And it's just from my respect for elders too that I just kept on listening. He could repeat the same story, I didn't care. <laughs> but I still enjoyed every moment of it just because of how passionate he was into every story. The heart that he poured into every word was incredible and admirable. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I said that for, as soon as I left OB. I, I niched in with people around there. Well, I niched in with Ronald Nitch. <laughs> and people can walk around here and say they're OB and say they're San Diego and say this. No. Ronald Nitch was OB. Yeah. Right. And he still yeah. is, and he's still here today. Yeah, right. He's out there right now, Mike, I'm in waves. Yes, right. right here, and he's all in our hearts. That's right. And he's not going anywhere as long as we all remember him and keep him close to our hearts. Keep him alive. Right. We're not the green flash. He ain't suffering no more. No more suffering. He ain't hurting. He's out there with all of our loved ones that we've lost. Yeah. That's right. But they ain't lost, they're still here with us. That's right. just enjoying the easy life. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. I am going to be holding a barbecue just to help out. I've been doing uh, a fun, I'm going to do fundraiser and sell raffle tickets for a dollar a piece to also help Mitch and Connie. Um, the community businesses that help donate services and goods, gift certificates. My girlfriend and I have taken it upon ourselves to go around and ask these businesses in the community to help. They've, they've been helping. We're going to make a couple more attempts to it, then we're going to sell raffle tickets and have a barbecue. I want to do the barbecue on the 5th, I hope, at Saratoga Park. People are welcome to bring something. Raffle tickets will go on sale as soon as I have more stuff to give away. So that's what I'm pressing on. <laughs> Anybody is welcome to help. Awesome. And, awesome. And I, I we would yeah. love it. I just wanted to say. Anybody to you. want to autograph me too? I'm, I'm, wearing, I'm wearing Nick's Booyah! favorite. Booyah! We here for you, Nick. <laughs> I, I just wanted to say something to you real quick, and then uh, we'll continue. Uh, I wanted to thank James Gang for creating this T-shirt. They're on sale at at the uh, at the James Gang, and part of the money goes towards you know helping with funeral expenses and things like that. And then I also want to thank Claudia, who does community planning here in Ocean Beach, for helping to coordinate all this and um, just making this a great uh, honor for Nitch, okay? So, and I also want to thank the vendors, uh, you know, the, the market down here where Nitch worked, and quite a few other uh, individuals who have been collecting uh, and have little collection boxes and, and that for Nitch. So. Uh, thank you uh, to them and for making this uh, possible and also for helping with the, the funeral costs. Hi, my name is Cindy and I just wanted to say I went to uh, say at the buds at Seed from all from Seedless are sorry for your loss in the world. Thank you. Thank you. That's all. He's going around, he's got all kinds of people signing this. Here, let me get a shot. There's my man yeah. right there. That's Connie's. There's Connie's. Connie, right first, there. number one, first one. Number one. one. Oh, yeah, we got some on the back. And I'm still going. All right, Casey. We'll fill it up. And Sunny, right? Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for Thank your you, help. Casey. Here we are, kind of winding it up here. We heading out to the pier in a moment. Thank <laughs> you. 
Enjoy the sunset. R.I.P. what? What's the how do you spell his name again? Mitch N E C H. Thank you. Check it out. Scotty's in the tribute to Mitch. Gotta get a picture of this also. N E C H. Awesome. That's so awesome. Thank you, Scotty. I got to get a picture of this too. Look how awesome that is. Rainbow for Mitch. The rainbow came out for Mitch. Wow. That rainbow for Mitch. Mitch's rainbow. in a while. Look at that rainbow. Get Connie and the rainbow behind her. I made it to the top. Yeah. I made it to the top. Wow, oh, look at that rainbow. It looks like I almost see a double one. Okay. Yeah, there's two. Yeah, I'm seeing two of them, ain't I? I love it. It's a double rainbow for Mitch. Yeah. Man, faint, but it's there. Did you see that, dude? It's like a double rainbow right there. Yeah, no, I knew it was going to be a double rainbow. Right. What was it? Oh. Oh, that's so awesome. That one I like, it's kind of dark. You know, this way go. Looks like this is going to be the spot. We've been laughing for so long. They aren't normally. Oh, there's a double. A light part on this side. No, I don't want to jump. Uh, that's too cold for me, honey. But I'm not. That's too cold water. Alright, I'm done. <laughs>
Hold on. Hold on. How fast do you think they'd be on top of you? <laughs> How fast do you think the lifeguards would be here? Uh, they don't care. Yeah, they do. I had a girl once like, she jumped off the end here to swim back. As Nick says, y'all come back now, you hear? Oh, yeah. Y'all come back now. Okay. Another beautiful day in paradise. Yeah. Oh, it's so beautiful. And y'all can say, jungle change, baby. Jungle change. <laughs> I think so. I feel yeah. that. And OB's the jungle. Yeah. OB's the jungle. If we can help it, we ain't gonna let it change. End of the road, and as fast as that trap comes in, we'll push it right back out. Oh, I, I don't like the trap. Normally I do. I like to help the crap leave the beach. Oh, I don't even have to bring any got that rainbow. Going down. Going down for your niche. Oh, 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 oh,
love the good green flash. Green flash from this and a rainbow, a double rainbow to boot. Now I see him. Was that awesome or what, Tony? Now it's palette. Yeah. Painter's the greatest artist in power. Just another day in paradise. Right. I'm going to try to stay. Huh? I'm happy so many people came to remember it. We love Mitch, man. We love Ronnie. Ronnie Rudy
Well, you don't look happy. See? That's his wife right there. Yeah. Plus, to have a great sensitive environment, yeah. creativity, yeah, is gratitude. Have a good one. Okay. Uh, yeah, you, know. Whoa. you gotta, you gotta start over here. Oh, it's not gonna make it. Yeah, let me, let me try. All we do is go out here. Whoa, it's really hard. Oh. Trick is you wrap a quarter. Thanks for subscribing. <laughs> So here we are, we're wrapping it. That's my car, you need to get in. Connie's heart. No, on your dad. It's for David Light. Oh, beautiful. It's all shiny right now. Yeah, it's really. Isn't that pretty, babe? Yeah. He takes those. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe my face. I've heard of the old guy. I've heard of the old guy. Uh-huh. Well, I've never heard of his face. Well, 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 well. The landlord. The landlord.